yo guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all well so in today's video as you guys can see from the title below i'm going to show you guys how i made these patchwork tote bags from these hoodies and joggers that was given by one of my friends as they have their own clothing line and they were going to do a little pop-up shop releasing some of their new um, items of clothing and they wanted me to recycle some of their old dead stock which i thought was a really good idea as you're not wasting um old fabrics so yeah let's get into the video and i hope you guys enjoy so since this was a commission job they basically gave me free range to basically make whatever i wanted as long as it was unisex they were going to use the items that i make in a raffle and then someone was going to win the items that i made so i thought the best idea was probably to make an accessory so i decided to make these tote bags out of the patchwork tote bag pattern that i made for my sewing workshop if you guys already watched my last video you guys know what i'm talking about so all i had to do now was figure out what piece i wanted to use for each so i was just deciding um through the hoodies and the joggers that they gave me which one i wanted to use so the first tote bag i decided to use this cream um hoodie with this really bright um purple logo which i really really like um they said the one main thing that they wanted was to keep the element of the brands and the logos within the item so i tried not to cut any of the logos out so this hoodie i decided to cut the arms off and cut the hoodie off so i just had one big giant piece of fabric and then i got my pant pieces that i made previously and started to cut everything out so with this particular tote bag pattern, in order to make it a bit more beginner friendly, I decided to only do the patchwork design on one side of the bag. So that's why that pattern piece is just one giant rectangle. Um, and it also saves me time as well. So yeah, um, in order to make the tote bag, I just laid down the plain side of the tote bag and then just pinned it all to the front of the hoodie as I wanted that side to be um the front of the bag since that logo was so big i wanted that to be the main like attraction of the bag basically so i just pinned that down and then cut that out once i was done cutting out my pattern piece i just made sure that i cut my notches for my handles so i knew where those were going and then i grabbed all my patchwork pattern pieces that i made right here and then i just arranged those over the rest of the hoodie material making sure that i had enough space for everything so i used the back rest of the hoodie for some of the pattern pieces and then i also used the sleeves for the rest of them i just tried to arrange the pattern pieces as well as i could so i wasn't wasting any fabric and i used every piece that i could and then once i was done doing that i cut everything out yeah So now it was time to just arrange all the pieces. So I just laid them all out in front of me and then just decided in what order I wanted to sew everything together. So as you guys can see, I've numbered my pattern pieces. So I'm going to sew three and five together and then two and four together. And then I'm going to sew three and five and two and four together as a sandwich. And then the last piece will be number one. So before sewing everything together, I actually decided to do a purple top stitch um, since the front logo was that purpley colour and I kind of wanted to incorporate that within the whole bag instead of just doing like a nude tone. And then this part, I wish I filmed before I got to this part, but I basically added a lining in the tote bag in the end. I was debating for ages whether or not to do this, but then I had so many fabrics to use. I decided to use one of the grey hoodies that they also gave me and um, make a lining and I also made this bag reversible so you can either have it grey or cream so I just repeated the same thing I did with the cream but with the cream pattern pieces I just did the same with the grey and then I put both of the bags right sides together and at this point I'm sewing along the top hem of the bag in order to sew them together and then as you guys can see i'm making sure that i cut my notches so i know where my handles are going to go so i'm just once i had done stitching all the way around the bag i'm just cutting 
to make sure the notches are deeper because obviously I've stitched it now and then I also left about five to ten centimeters um, of a hole around the bag so I obviously I can turn it the right side out and then yeah once I was done doing that turning it out this is what it looked like it's a lot of fiddly it's really fiddly um when you first do it but like after a while you kind of get the hang of doing it and then I just pushed the gray side into the cream side and then this is what it was looking like and then now all I had left to do was make my handles so I actually ended up using the ribbed hem of the hoodies as my handles um since that was basically the only pieces of fabric that I had left to work with and they came out really really well the only thing that I didn't really take into consideration is because this is a jersey material throughout they're very stretchy so the handle so <laughs> what was that accent <laughs> so the handles ended up being a bit too stretchy so I should have probably made them a little bit shorter but besides that I was really happy with the way they came out obviously because I'm making the bag reversible I um, made one side of the handle cream and the other side of the handle grey so yeah that's just me just lining them up side by side and then I'm just cutting away some of the hem of the grey um, strip of fabric that I cut from the bottom of the hoodie. Once I'd sewn the grey and the cream strap together it was now time to turn them the right side around and I have a love-hate relationship with this because obviously I don't have a loop turner for some reason I've been sewing for so long and still don't have one of those so I had to use a safety pin but then I finally got it out as you guys can see and then um all I had to do was press it with the iron obviously to flatten all the seams down because it was quite rounded um and quite bobbly so I just went to my iron and then ironed and pressed it down before inserting it into my tote bag and then in order to do that all I did was seam ripped where I left my notches so if I just slightly pulled the fabric I could see why I cut my notches so I just did a seam rip from end to end of where the notches were and then I just inserted the strap and then I also did a top stitch around the whole top hem of the bag and I did this by using a purple top stitch for the cream side and then a grey bottom stitch for the grey side um, and then yeah once I was done doing that I was finished with my tote bags So in the end, I ended up making two tote bags, even though the plan was just to make one. So that black tote bag that you guys can see on the left, I actually made out of a pair of joggers that they gave me. But I did actually didn't end up filming that because it was super last minute and I wasn't actually sure if I was going to do it. But yeah, that is my video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, if you guys are new to my channel. If you guys would like to see... The behind the scenes of uh, the day when I actually gave them the bags and how the event went I will be sure to leave the link to that video down below and in the cards here but other than that I will see you in my next video. Peace.